guys, it's Nero from Phone Arena. In front of us, we've got the Huawei Ascend P6 and the Apple iPhone 5. And I'm just going to give you a quick run through of the design similarities between these two devices. As with most touchscreen phones at the moment, the front is on both of them is dominated by the large display. But that's not what we want to focus on. If we take you right to the very top here, you'll see that Huawei has used the same slight recess design between the bezel and the actual front of the display that Apple have done. On the side here are the antenna strips and as with all unibody devices that are made out of metal, manufacturers need to come up with a way of ensuring that there are no network issues. We all remember antenna gate with the iPhone 4 and the infamous Steve Jobs quote there's nothing wrong with the phone, it's the way you're holding it. Well, with the design of the P6, Huawei have taken a, des a design approach that is almost identical to Apple. There's about a millimetre difference between the two antenna strips, and the positioning is identical as well, with one on the left at the top, one on the right. The iPhone has four little gaps, just to improve the reception. We actually noticed no issues with the Ascend P6 and reception at all, which means that while we have done very well, especially as the antenna strips are actually thinner than Apple's. So while we have clearly gone to the very depths to make sure that it's as small and as thin as possible without sacrificing any quality of reception. Let's move on and look at the SIM card trays. The SIM card trays look almost identical both in terms of size and positioning. And whereas Apple has gone for buttons on the left side, Huawei have put, and the SIM card tray on the right, Huawei have put everything on the right hand side, leading a very clean look at the left, apart from here, which is the SIM card removal tool. On that subject, very, very good move by Huawei, because if anyone's used a unibody device before, you'll know that not having a SIM card to hand and SIM card removal tool to hand is an absolute pain, especially if your battery dies. With this, with the P6, it's built into the device, which means you'll never be able to not remove your SIM card. Let's move on and look at the back of the two devices. Again, they incorporate a very similar style. Both have the camera in the top left corner, and aside from the positioning of the flash, it's almost identical. The cameras themselves look to be almost identical in size apart from a maybe a millimetre or two here or there. Just like the iPhone, Huawei have just stuck their logo on the back, except with Apple's devices the speaker is on the bottom, whereas Huawei have put it on the back. Is this a good move? Well, if, you, if it's face down like so, you're blocking the speaker. Moving on to the front again, it all comes down to software. With the design so similar, it comes down to whether or not Huawei's software is up to scratch. They're running Android with Huawei's own custom skin on top, the Emotion UI, and it's very much a subjective matter. After all, Android is designed to be significantly different to the iPhone, especially with widgets, customization, but Huawei have stripped away a fair amount of this in order to bring an experience that's as akin to the iPhone as possible. This was just a quick hardware overview and design comparison between the two. For more information, check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and please like, comment and subscribe.